You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Goes by the name of Paige Kennedy. Yeah. What up, though? What's up, sir? I'm, b well, before we start the interview, I got to say I might have to dip out early. So if you see me slide out, oh, I got to go to New Orleans. It's not because so. you were sick of me. He does that to people he don't respect. That's all that nah, is. Nah, Damn. nah. Damn. He wouldn't dip out on Jay-Z. If I got to go, I got to go. I got to Come on, play. man. It's like they go dip look, out. Look. You going to do a slide you out? You knew Paige Kennedy. You going to do a slide out? Okay. You see what I'm saying? We're going to play that later. Come on. Where the hell is you going, nigga? You about to walk the yellow brick road? Man, he the gatekeeper. He the gatekeeper. Baby. Well, welcome, son. What up, though? Paige Kennedy uses his his social media so much. He hits me. I don't know if he was beefing with me, if he was saying what's up at one time. I was like, is this nigga beefing with me or not? What did he say to you? We 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 just remember. aggressive in Detroit. So. It was like four in the morning. He was like, you know me, MV? I was like, did I do something to this guy? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still the next not, page, like, yo, E, I'm coming to New York. I was I'm like, not, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what Paige does. I don't know if he acts, he he's plays football, acting, he's he a raps, rapper, he's everything, a man. I'm a Michelin man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm getting it in. I'm doing everything. Okay. I sell goddamn oranges outside. I do whatever I gotta do. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you, you do rap. Yeah. Well, yeah, he has an album. Has Actually, an album. I got a chance to uh, preview the album. Hey! She's the only one. <laughs> she, no, no. She, I didn't want it to leak out, you know what I'm saying? But very she's special. very special to me, so I sent it to her. So you give her, you don't give the DJ the album. Well, hey. that's how things leak out, Envy, because that's how you are. Okay. That's how you get Because it's fire mm -hmm. like that. You're going to have to, you're going to be like, oh, shit. Oh, sh everybody need to hear this. Mm -hmm. Let me put this on. That's how I had to give it to her. Is it any good, Yee? Yeah, you know, first of all, you know I represent Detroit, and it's a very Detroit-sounding... But you represent, represent Brooklyn. No, no but Detroit. I'm saying I worked with Eminem. That's how I actually... You represent Detroit? You represent Detroit? 313, man, she know what it is? And come it, on. And the next year, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah, what is that? what's up, <laughs> yeah? Like, come on. Because, you know, I worked for Eminem. That's my first job, like, working in radio. So but you I from did a, Brooklyn. No, I'm saying I do, it, but I, do a, I do a lot of things in Detroit also, and obviously, like, Eminem's one of my favorite rappers, and I know all the guys in D12, and... I know Denon Porter and yeah. Kenai and all of them, and they're on the album. They all on the album. Okay, it's like you got Eminem on the album? Not. Oh, he said they all. Royce the Five Nine yeah, is on the album. Royce the Five Nine. I got Eminem with Jason. I got okay. I got Royce the Five Nine on there. So <laughs> okay. you know what I mean? It's close. I'm on. I'm working up, man. I'm working my way up. You might need to spit some bars now before we even continue a rap conversation. Spit, I, need, hey, he's he's I, I need to know if this is even worthy of a conversation to have with you. You got snap. I mean. But can I, I? I cuss in my. That's all right. You got bleeps. Okay, you want me to just do some acapella? He put his hat to the back. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, all right. Now, if I walk out during, it's not because I didn't like it. It's because I really gotta go. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. And we got hey, his coat you, on. You, <laughs> you, I do some acapella, yo. <clears throat> Let's address the elephant in the room. Me, okay, clean slate. I'm a fat prick, a black dick, your girl's dream date. Went from eating ramen noodles to eating steak, so of course I gained weight since Blue Mountain State. And I'm about to lose 130 pounds of it by giving your bitch back. She dead weight and her kids whack, no offense. Well, I hope you take offense like removing the gate. I'm including my on this hit by including the slate. Take one, no, I take two of these in the morning. I give you some place that you can escape through. This ain't a garden variety freestyle. This is me while I'm off my anxiety medication. If your bitch say she on administration, I get it in her head, she giving me brain, I call that my meditation. Yo, it's that calm feeling. Yeah, I ran that pussy. It's that bomb feeling. I tried to kick her out like Trump, but she protested. She's so reckless. Snatched off my gold necklace. Head first through the screen door. Blood splattered through the clean floor. Her jeans tore. Yeah, this means war. I promise when I find a bitch, I'ma grab her by the panda, redesign the shit. But I ain't go chase her. I'ma finish off these grapes. It's a waste of time playing tennis with the drapes. It's like EA Sports, the way I put out games. I'm a fireman. Every I put out flames, no sneak this. that's weak-ish, so peep this, I'm a pooper scoop if you wanna talk street shit, seen firsthand what a trigger do, real talk, my mom then shot more niggas than you, so why you boil out, kicking it with your rugby squad, I drown you in water, shit it get ugly, God, you can write it down and take a picture, in fact, I'm a Nikon, I'm Nikon, so Kodak's whack, I sink your fucking battleship, little boat, your rhymes is softer than a rap that a pillow wrote, yeah, I don't care if you might be mad, you a fad, I put two in your stomach like Blue Ivy's dad I go raw but still pack the mag And your bitch got tits like it paid dues at SAG 
Yeah, come on, it's no time limit. I'm refreshing right. as an ice water with a lime in it. If I'm in it, yeah, you know what time it is. Watch me clock, son, in a dime minute. To show how much I hate you, bro. Your man seen you a kite. I cut the wire like HBO. This is how I get when I'm behind mics. Hey, yo, Envy, no hard feelings, but this is what Detroit sound like. I like that. That was dope. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was dope. <laughs> yeah. So well, I know Yachty got to catch a shot. Yeah, yeah. Yachty got to catch, like catch a shot. Like Only like God got to catch a shot. Kodak like Whack got to catch a shot. Yeah, but All these mumble rappers. Yeah, but they kids. Man. They kids. Man, they and like what, kids be kids. And what do dads got to do? Spank that ass. And that's what I'm doing. I so you know what I say? You know what I say? I like, but actually, have you ever really listened to Kodak Black? Yes. No, I don't believe you. <laughs> Unfortunately. Is Kodak is actually dope. Mm, yes, he is. Kodak dope, can like rap. He failed, like, no. He was Kodak can rap, like, lyrically, flow. Hell yeah. Say Kodak line right now. I can't remember that off yeah, the head, exactly. but I know he can rap. <laughs> but when it comes to, like. Tell him say a Jay-Z line. I can't remember no J off the head. Say a Paige you Kennedy line you that you just Jay-Z heard right lying. now. Yeah, I lying. bet you remember a reference that you just heard right now. Yeah, because it's so violent. Exactly. My mama shoot more people than you. Yeah, because that's real talk. <laughs> I'm from Detroit, nigga. That's real shit. I I'm not going to lie. Go ahead. It's always You watch your mom me. shoot somebody? Her boyfriend. Oh. Oops. Am, I, am I dry snitching on my mom? Yeah, that, was, no, that was a dry. That snitching was very wet. Nigga, you about to get moms in jail, nigga. Free Renee. How long ago was it? It depends. If it was a long time ago. Yeah, it was a long, long time ago. I was I was, I was still, a, you know, mm-hmm. I was like, I was it wasn't last year, no. <laughs> I just always feel like lyricists shouldn't be concerned with what non-lyricists are doing. Like Soldier Boy and uh, Yachty, that's something else. You know what I mean? Like he can that be concerned ain't, with whatever yeah. he wants to be concerned with, though. Yeah, I, that's like, he takes the, I like, I like. I mean, that. I that's challenge how we, I another care. lyricist. Hmm? Lyricists should challenge other lyricists. He wasn't I, okay, them. so basically, you saying like I'm bullying them? Kind of. Is this pointless in a way? Listen, I get it though. But. I got I got an opinion. I want to state my opinion. I care about this art form, and I don't have a problem with them as people. I don't have a problem with them getting their money. But here's the issue: when when it becomes like the norm, and mm-hmm. not just like uh you know a little thing here and there, then that's the problem. Because other kids say, "Oh, I can make fucking millions of dollars. I can I can get all these views by just doing this, not putting anything into the art." And I don't like that. But it is. Just a here and there thing, though. That's why no, I'm on the radio. It's all that. After radio, I keep telling y'all that radio don't radio. represent the whole culture. It just represents our checks. So can you better stop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out, I heard. But, but you know I that heard, you shout know. Out. But then you player. see who's getting all the endorsements right now. Then commercials. Target, so, Sprite. So Drake ain't popping. He's a lyricist. Drake J Cole popping. ain't popping. Kendrick Lamar ain't popping. Big Sean ain't popping. While they ain't popping, there's plenty of lyricists out here. Mm-hmm. That's not plenty. That's five. What I'm saying is, five. What you, look, Chance the Rapper ain't popping. Chance has got three Grammys. Like, come on, Chance and Kid Cat commercial. If he wants to spit it who he wants to spit it, I ain't mad at him. But he couldn't do it and be wild. I just hate how we act like two people represent the whole culture. We you hear that? that all the time. Trinidad and James out three years ago. It's like, oh, that's what's wrong and with that. What him happened pop. to him? He disappeared. And, mm-hmm. and, his and they go disappear he too. Just put exactly. out he's just put out in three years. Song, by the way, Trinidad that's James. Trinidad that's my whole point, Paige. Shout out to Trinidad James. That's my whole point. They not even. They just here today, gone tomorrow. They don't even really matter in the bigger scheme of things. Do you do you like mumble rap? It depends. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. I ain't gonna lie, I do too sometimes. Of course, it depends on the mood. If you're in the club or okay. somewhere, absolutely. Okay, okay, I give it. Look, if you're in the I club, you, you gotta. The club. You, the you can't hear that. that. You can't hear right. what I'm doing. And anybody right. trying to dissect, this nigga just said, can you rewind that, please? No, mm-hmm. you exactly. can't do that. Right. You gotta hear turn up music in the club. There but I'm go. just saying, it's a problem when everything becomes that because that's the new fad. You know, you it's mean, so that's what fad. labels are looking to sign because they see it being successful. They see it's now, popular, so and what the kids y'all want. Y'all ain't signed no. though. <laughs> the, look, y'all the, the kids, no the kids want to. They want to. They want to do the. Ah, they want to do the dance. You know what I mean? And that music helps Motown. them do that. Motown. <clears throat> Motown distributes them over there. Yikes! Oh, they're doing a great my job. My favorite rapper's from Detroit. Right now. Thank His you very much. Sean. I appreciate it. Oh, Big Sean. Oh, you <laughs> disrespect me in front of all my friends. They watch it right now. And you're going to say his name. No. So, so who did you listen to? Man, <laughs> Sean man ain't always trying to. I ain't always do this to people, man. You going to set me up like that to knock me out? So who influenced you rapping in? Because you spit. Yeah, man. You know. Obviously, Eminem is mm-hmm. the greatest the God in, in- rapper of all time to me. But I, you know, I come from all of like, Kooji, rap, rock him, my boy, Biggie, rest in peace, mm-hmm. you know, Ice Cube, all of those cats that really rap is what I was influenced by. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and like I said, I get it. I know that the times change and it's pretty much like 
I am right now where my dad was when rap first came out, when he's yeah, like, oh, yeah, this yeah. is crap, this is terrible, this is... And, and so what the kids say go, right? But I just want them to have some type of history, some type of homework. I don't want them to just, like, crap all over everything that we've tried to build for them, you know, so that other kids emulate them and not where it started my from. My dad used to hate Wu-Tang. I used to listen to Wu-Tang and I'd say, what is this? Wu what is Wu-Tang? <laughs> Yeah, used to hate talk Snoop. about violence. Yeah, but those guys, that's classic music. That is you know classic I mean? music. But my pops used to hate them just because he just didn't understand it. Right. So, so now, the, as an actor, what are you doing as, as acting? Because that's the first thing I've seen when, when, they, when I look up Paige Kennedy, says actor. What, mov <laughs> what movies are you he in? He was in Weeds. Weeds, I know Weeds. Desperate Housewives. I'm a little disappointed that... Uh, He's never seen me before, uh, so I'm, you know, addressing <laughs> bullshit. How, how can you be in America and you don't know who I No, but, uh, no, I mean, I, I was in Weeze. I was I in SWAT. Weeze. Wait a minute, you black and you never seen Leprechaun Back to the Hood? I'm, I'm not black. I'm, I'm Latino. Leprechaun Back to the Hood. <laughs> we can tell, know, like, we that's, can tell that's by your collar. You Are you wearing white jeans with that collar? <laughs> <laughs> he look like the gatekeeper. Like, for real. Like, like, he just opened the door for <laughs> all of the all-star holes to shoes come in. I'm wearing my like this today, man, so no. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna click them together? There's no place like home nah, so that's get exactly there. what he got on from back to the fucking wizard back to see the wizard shoe <laughs> but go ahead and wasn't you on a TV show a couple years ago oh yeah I told the TV show Rush you, Hour Rush Hour Justin, yeah yeah shout out Justin <laughs> Hires uh, you see we didn't do our homework you see uh, yeah uh, that's, that's I, cool I know, I, I know I, him from Rush Hour I, I understand uh, it's all good y'all you know, you made me feel also. very special so yeah yeah I, mean, I did a lot of social media fun, stuff yeah, oh and I got a I got a big movie coming out uh, it's a movie called Meg with Jason um, Statham, Jason right? Statham. See, she she always does her homework. Ruby Rose. But Ruby Rose, okay. uh, Rain Wilson, Cliff Curtis. I it's love Rain crazy. Wilson. He was in the office. Yeah, yeah. Like and I did a TV show with him called Backstrom, mm -hmm. where I was a cop finally. Yeah, because you know I don't really <laughs> look. Because I, you know, sometimes I wear ski masks like this and I look mm -hmm. like a thug. You know what I'm saying? But I either the funny guy or the aggressive guy. Mm -hmm. But I finally got to play a police officer, a good one. <laughs> A good one. Uh, did you have to kill an innocent civilian? I sure didn't. <laughs> good good I wouldn't have uh, taken that role. I'm like, y'all better get somebody else for that one. But no, so so I got that that big huge movie coming out uh, mm -hmm. next year. It's, it's it's about the megalodon shark, the big dinosaur, oh, yeah, yeah, crazy yeah, yeah, monster yeah, yeah, yeah. shark. Yeah, man. So we was out in New Zealand for you know five months just mm -hmm. fighting a shark. Well, you, you reminded me of your social media game was like when Kevin Hart first started is, is he was on top of everything. Mm -hmm. That's how you are. You go at anybody, you hit any DJ, you hit anybody that you think I'm is hungry. a problem or a position, you go at. I respect that though. Nah, I'm hungry, hungry man. That. You know what I'm saying? Like if, you know, I feel like if you don't use your platform to, to get you where you have to go, then you squandered it. You mm -hmm. wasted it. And God gave me a talent and he gave me a talent to share with the world and I'm not about to sit down and wait for no calls. I'm going to be like a Jehovah's Witness mm -hmm. knocking on Envy's door till he <laughs> open it up and get me up in this mug. What, what's your passion? Like, what are you more passionate about, rapping, acting? I mean, you know, I think I'm most passionate about entertaining people. Mm -hmm. I want to make people happy. I want to make people smile. I want to make them laugh. I want to make them think, cry. So, I, you know, my acting is a very strong part of me, you know? I went to school long enough to be a doctor to be an actor. Like, I'm Shakespearean trained. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh, can you do some Shakespeare for us this morning? You want me to do some you know Shakespeare? I, love Shakespeare. Yeah. I was dope. an English major, and I've read, like, every Shakespeare play ever, so. Yeah, I should do it together. <laughs> I didn't memorize it. Well, I could, uh, but I could do it. Let me see. I do something from uh, Richard <laughs> III uh, was, like, my favorite Shakespeare play. So let me see. <clears throat> Now is the winter of our discontent made glorious summer by this son of York. And all the clouds that lowered upon the house in the deep bosom of the ocean buried. Now are our brows bound with victorious wreaths, our bruised arms hung up for monuments, our strong alarms changed to merry meetings, our dreadful marches to delightful measures. Grim visaged war hath smoothed his wrinkled front, and now, instead of mounting barbed steeds to fright the souls of fearful adversaries, he chapers nimbly in a lady's chamber to the lascivious pleasing of a lute. But I, that am not shaped for sport of tricks, nor made to 
caught an amorous looking glass. I did him rudely stamp and want love's majesty to strut before a wanton ambling nymph. I did him curtailed of this fair proportion, cheated of feature by dissembling nature, deformed, unfinished! Sent before my time to this breathing world, scarce half made up, and that so lamely and unfashionable that dogs bark at me as I honked by them. That's, wow. You know what I'm saying? That sounded like Game of Thrones, boy. Yes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Was, Michelin Man. I'm doing it all, man. Yeah, I bet you scared the hell out of people in the hood with that shit. <laughs> as big as you are. Did that make you want to read some Shakespeare? Trying to steal people's food at lunch? Give thou thy steak. <laughs> Give thou thy steak. I shall fail thy <laughs> to the spot of mercury. <laughs> My goodness. So, yeah. doing music, is this really a way of you saying, do you anticipate making money from it or you just do it because you love doing it? <laughs> I mean, at this point, like, you know, I'm not really money chasing right now. Mm -hmm. Like, I. I, uh oh, I, somebody rich. No, somebody man, got, it. Somebody I got, got it. it. Somebody got it. I got it. Somebody got it. No, 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 it ain't, it ain't, it ain't like that. You know, I see you baby, shining. Baby, baby mamas <laughs> might be watching. You know what I'm saying? I see you shining. Renegotiate re contracts in the court. No, it ain't like that. I'm just saying, I'm in this for the art. I'm in this for people to, you know, respect where I came from. I've been rapping a long time, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I've been on tour since with... Since seven. Since I was seven. This girl over here. She, this juices. <laughs> this is why. Drink juices, kids. <laughs> from Angela E. And you will be smart just like her. Anyway, I, you know, I've been rapping since I was seven. I've been on tour with Big E, with Cube, you know. You and, know Big? Yes. I got Big E was his man. Did you not ever see my Instagram and you see all the pictures of us together? No. Oh, all right, that's what's up. Thanks a lot. But him? you should follow Paige Kennedy uh, I am. and stop ignoring niggas DMs. How you met Big? We ain't gonna discuss all. <laughs> you DM Charlemagne? He DM'd all, all of us. Busy. Wait, that sound a little weird to say he out in public. Uh, you slid in Charlemagne's DM. I don't want to call that DM. You I, slid in Charlemagne's DM. I didn't slide in no <laughs> damn Charlemagne DM. I sent him a message that nobody else could see. <laughs> that's see. what it was. Uh, on Twitter? I'm a I'm a DM you on Twitter it's when you don't follow uh guys back. It's Instagram. Guys back. <laughs> Man, I'm I he like I Devon, even only look. follow just only girls, like only. <laughs> you played a quarterback before, you played a gang leader, you played a gay inmate. <laughs> You played a game. You fuck, you know he in the room and you gonna say that. You think you gonna just let that go? That's, how, you, that's how we work. That's the alley. You, you just go On what show did you play a gay inmate? Uh, my name is Earl. <laughs> Give thou thy booty. Right now. <laughs> I want thou thy booty. Slay now. thy cheeks <laughs> in that area. <laughs> Hey, listen, there was a lot of rappers that turned that down. Uh Busta Rhymes exhibit, they was like, uh, no thank you. Um and I was like, Check, please. <laughs> what show was it? My name is Earl. It was on NBC. Oh, got you, With, got, you, got you. Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you have some lines? That was on. I had some lines. Yeah. Come on, man. Now, if you had to kiss the other lines. You need to do, yo. Somebody tell this man to do his homework. I'm just trying. How did they know you was gay? Like, what? what, what? I knew he was gay. <laughs> yeah, what about? He was what? acting. I know, but what character? What, what did you say that made you? Listen, this is what it was. Okay. It was, it was uh, the black gangs and it was the Mexican gangs. Okay. When we first got in jail, we fought, fought, fought. They kept putting us in solitary mm -hmm. confinement. We get out, we fight again. And then the fight ended up turning into love. What? Oh. And then then we would pretend to fight so that the gangs could fight so we can like smooch and shit like underneath. So you had the... to kiss somebody from the Mexican gang? <clears throat> you had a menage with some amigos? So on torn pages, uh, March 10th. So you kissed somebody? You yeah, had, I a, you see you had a menage with amigos is what you're telling us. <laughs> Well, they're they're black, and he was a Hispanic. Is it? You said you fought the Mexicans. Yes, amigos. Oh, I thought you was talking about the amigos. No, man, we're oh. talking about bad and booty. <laughs> right now, we're talking about ass and booty. <laughs> All right, <laughs> ass and booty. We're talking about bad and booty. We're talking about ass and booty. Absolutely, bars. Um, <laughs> come on, man. See, I inspire you. I come in this bitch. Everybody got bars. That's what it's supposed to be like. So was um, it hard to do that role? Yes, it was. Oh, so you got hard to do that role? Wow. Wow. Wow, Paige. Wow. Okay. See, <laughs> bars. I inspire bars. Wow. You see that? I'm giving, uh, you got to give me one. I need a bar from you because they all, all right. These anyway. All you. you see the all you? Yeah, it is. Oops. You, you know what's interesting? Oops. Queen Latifah recently spoke out and said that her hardest role she ever had to play was Cleo. Cleo? Yeah. And she That's her hardest role. Yeah. And bars. She, and she, 
Come on, man. Because she said she had to call all her friends and tell her friends, like, look, I'm playing this role, so people might give you some flack, clown you. Did you have to do that? <clears throat> I just, you know, turned my phone off for like three months. Uh, there was no social media really back then when well, that how came out. How did you go I back to the D, though? Oh, cause oh, wow. come on, man! You know, come on, to go back come on man! You know, you niggas ain't not watching no okay. NBC. I think he missed something else. Niggas is not watching NBC. They didn't see that. They gonna see it now because you didn't brought it up. Now they go all oh, YouTube me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I walked in this interview cool. Now I'm walking out like Frank Ocean. Damn, man, this Frank is Ocean's some cool. All right, Paige Candy. You wouldn't do a song with Frank Ocean? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I would send my tracks in to him. You wouldn't go in the studio with him? What? What? That, that, what? You know, on, I'll, I'll, I'll send my tracks in. You, y'all wouldn't record nothing together, Andy D? You sound very homophobic right now, Paige. No, no, right let's, now, let's clear this up. Paige. No, hold on. Let's clear this up for the record. <laughs> right. I, am okay. right. no, on, for the record. Right. I am not homophobic at all. Okay. I played a gay inmate on My Name is Earl. There you go. <laughs> so uh, you go. just put this out and there. And you love the D. You love the D. You love the D. You got the D he on your hat. You just gonna keep hitting me with bars. You got the D on your hat. <laughs> yes, it's <laughs> on. It's on my hat. You got the D on your back. That's right. I yeah. got my lyrics on my back. You <laughs> see this torn pages <laughs> lyric? Torn <laughs> anus. He <laughs> said he got torn <laughs> what? How did he turn around and say you know what? Torn, torn anus. <laughs> what? Torn page. <laughs> Page is crazy. Page this nigga crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, he has so a D. many bars today. He has the D on his back. You go support him. The no, album but comes out pages, March 10th. Yes, the album comes out March 10th. Torn Pages. Is you got on King Los on the album, too. I got King Los. King Los. I got oh, Marsha no. Ambrosius love on Marcia that Ambrosius. album. I got Elza. I got Fred the Godson. I love Fred Should Fred I the keep Godson. going? I got I got the whole Detroit Shady family. Should I leak this album out? Leak it, you leak it. Oh, Marsh is one of You'll my favorite R&B singers. I ever. know, because you're the Marcia's only one got beast. it. Hey, you know what? If you leak my album, I, I don't even care. Because like I said, it's not about money for me. Mm -hmm. It's about the respect and the love. And that's the only thing I care about. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there you have it. It's Paige Kennedy. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Yo, yo, yo. What? One more thing. Oh, what? <laughs> I just want to uh, give a shout out to my daughter, Kirsten Kennedy. She's up in uh, Kentucky. And big shout out to my girl. Today is her birthday. Uh, I love you, Mama Bear. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and Tim, uh, watch the dishes, nigga. All right. Aren't you going to the Kentucky Derby? Who the hell is Tim? That's my son. I Everybody never been knows the them Kentucky but Derby. you because you don't follow a brother. <laughs> <laughs> man, give me this goddamn phone. I will follow myself right now for you. Let me follow Paige, man. Paige Kennedy is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. <laughs> The Breakfast Club, every weekday morning. Tune in.